Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to do just kind of a quick review for you guys on the Koei Mighty Air Purifier. Um, I hadn't seen too many reviews on this, so I thought I'd just kind of give you guys my two cents. Just kind of based off my experience and let you know what I thought about it. I uh, should mention too, real quick, I actually found a pretty good deal on this air purifier. And I'll put a link in the description below so you guys can check that out if you're interested in picking one up for yourself. Okay, so uh, I guess if you kind of want the short version of this review, for the money, I don't think there's a better air purifier out there. Couple reasons why. One thing, and this is something you have to definitely consider, is it is a true HEPA filter. Um, now what that means is it doesn't matter if you spend 5000 or 500 or $1,000 on an air purifier. If it's a true HEPA filter like this one is, it's going to filter the exact same amount of stuff out of the air. So in my opinion, it's definitely not worth spending all that money for the same amount of filtration. Usually with somewhat, I guess you could say, cheaper units like this, um, the fan is sometimes noisy or loud, uh, or it doesn't have the automatic sensing features. Not the case with this one, it's very quiet. Um, it automatically senses the air quality and adjusts it, uh, the fan speed based on that uh, in real time. One thing I like about this unit is it's very thin and it's not an eyesore too. A lot of these air purifiers look kind of really stick out like a sore thumb uh, in the room that it's in, but not this one. It uh, kind of blends in very well. It doesn't really even look like an air purifier. Um, it kind of actually looks like it could be some kind of speaker or something like that, but it just doesn't, uh, it's not an eyesore in the room, which is nice too, because a lot of these are. It's a four-stage filter, so it has a washable pre-filter, which is basically just like a screen. Um, you can take that out and clean it maybe once every couple months or so. It just gets rid of big particles like dust and keeps those from gumping, gunking up your filter. Uh, the second stage is a carbon filter. That's for odors. If you have pets or anything like that, works really good for that. Uh, the third filter is the HEPA filter. That's what gets rid of all your dust mites, pollen, allergens, all sorts of things like that. And then the fourth one is an ionizer. Now this is important um, because this is an ionizer but it's not an ozone generator. And that's important because ozone is actually not a very good thing to breathe. Uh, if you do a little research online, um, not recommended to have an ozone generator inside your home. This does not generate ozone, but it does kind of work the same way. It uses electricity to get rid of uh, some things in the air. But that's another good thing because a lot of, a lot of these um, air cleaners have ozone generators in them. So this one is safe for you and your family. Um, you don't have to worry about that at all. But yeah, like I said, very quiet, works great, um, can do a very large room. Uh, it will recycle the air like five times per hour in like a 400 square foot room. So it, it moves a lot of air and it's very quiet for that. But the nice thing about it is you just really leave it in automatic mode all the time. Um, it's going to sense the air quality automatically and turn its fan up or down um, depending on what it's sensing. Now one thing you'll notice like I did is you'll, you'll turn it on and it's going to be in the red highly polluted mode for probably the first 10 or 20 minutes while it cycles the air in the room and then it'll turn itself down to medium for a couple minutes and then it just runs itself on clean and just consistently uh, constantly recycles the air uh, so yeah it works really good very simple um, easy to use so if you have any more questions about it just leave them in the comments below thanks for watching guys and have a great day